Hi there, I'm Java Jim, and today we're going to go over cleaning the grinding chamber on the Escaso I1 and I2 espresso coffee grinders. Uh, just to start, uh, the tools that we'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver, some Q-tips, and a vacuum cleaner, and of course the grinder as well. To get into the grinding chamber, we need to get where the bean hopper sits into the grinder. And if you notice here, there is a, either a black cover, it could be a colored cover. It could also be a cover that has a screw that needs to be removed. And in this case where there's no screw, the black cover just pops right up that are held in by two brackets on the side there. To get this out, as you can see, this spins. We take the screws out on the worm gear drive. And then we spin out the top burr carrier. And as you can see, I'm going in a counterclockwise motion. If you notice, there's threads here, there's threads here and here in the grinding chamber. Now, this is a brand new grinder, but typically you will see uh, coffee grinds that can get stuck on the inside in the uh, chambers here. And more importantly, you might you most likely will see coffee grinds in the threads in the grinding chamber as well as on the burr carrier. So once you get to this point, you'll turn on the vacuum cleaner. And that's just for demonstration purposes. But you will clean out as much coffee grinds as possible from the grinding chamber, as well as the threads. And then after that is completed, you will take Q-tips or cotton swabs, and you will remove every single piece of grinder out of the threads. And the reason why you want to remove every single piece of coffee grind out of the threads is if you have any coffee grinds in the threads here or here, on the top bar carrier or the grinding chamber, you will actually ruin the threads on the grinder. And this applies to all espresso coffee grinders. So it's really important to remove all the coffee grinds. Put it back in, just level it evenly. We're gonna go clockwise and there's a little resistance. If you feel too much resistance that you can't budge, don't force it because that means you have a coffee grind in there somewhere and you need to take, it, take this back out, the top bar carrier, and clean the coffee grinds. Take it all the way down as far as possible. And a quick test is to see if the metal spins here. And it actually won't even spin because the motor's locking on this in this case, but in some grinders it will spin loosely. Take it out a little bit, put the worm gear back in. I like to have the screws already in place. Make sure that the worm gear aligns properly with this uh, space settings on the top burr carrier. Just a little tight. And then just to test, everything works fine. Sometimes uh, if you have coffee grinds that are stuck in there, you can also damage the worm gear here as well, or these uh, setting blocks on the carrier. So that's why it's really, really important to remove every single piece of coffee grind. To get the cover back in, you have the two tabs. Like to push down, give it a little hit. Test the knob wheel as well here. Make sure it's still spinning. We put the bean hopper back into place. And then you test your grinder. Again, change settings uh, while you're moving. We've gone over this on several other videos. And that's pretty much it. Very simple to clean the grinding chamber, especially if the coffee grinds are too fine and, and don't come out to shoot or something is not working correctly. Clean out the grinding chamber first. Once again, this is Java Jim and have a great day. Thank you.